Hey, what's up? This is Daniel from TheMetalSchool.com and I want to share with you guys a couple of weld techniques that I like to use. So hopefully you'll learn something, you can put them to use on your next welding project. So, check them out. Alright, so here's the first joint that we're going to work with. Uh, this is a lap joint made out of quarter inch uh, by two inch, just flat bar, hot rolled. And what we're going to do is this is what I call a back and forth drag technique. So you're going to get the gun positioned at about 45 degrees in this angle and about 20 degrees towards the direction you're going and we're going to be dragging it in this in, in this orientation so what we're going to do is we're going to start that weld we're going to go forward about a quarter back an eighth forward a quarter back an eighth forward back forward back forward back and when we go forward we're going to want to try to penetrate as deep as we can right at the root of that weld and then we back up just to build that weld size up um, another important thing that when you're doing a lap joint it's going to be a lot harder to get penetration into the bottom piece and it's a lot easier to get it into this top piece so you're going to want to concentrate the majority of your heat and where that wire is pointed more onto this bottom uh, than you will on the top and after you run some lap joints you'll see what I mean so let's run this weld and have a look at it. So if you look at this weld, uh, it came out pretty nice. It's got a little bit of a scaled look to it. Some people like that. Well, you'll notice the both this top toe right here uh, penetrates nice into this top plate. So does the bottom. There's no ragged edges. It's nice and smooth. And what we were basically doing is we had that 45 degrees, 20 degrees towards the direction we're going, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. And you can kind of see that every time you get one of those scales pretty much. So let's try it. I'll show you another technique that I like to use um, on this same lap joint. All right, so the next technique that we're gonna use on this same lap joint is what I call an orbit technique. So I'm gonna use a piece of TIG rod here just to make it a little easier to explain it. Um, so we're gonna try to keep that same about 45 degree orientation and about 20 degrees towards the direction we're going. And then we're gonna do little bitty circles that overlap one another. So we'll start here at the root overlap 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 and just like before you're going to still want to concentrate the majority of the heat into the bottom plate because it's going to be harder to penetrate so you'll try to stay a little bit longer on the bottom so let's have a look at it and we'll see how it looks when we're done Alright, so we got this joint all wire wheeled and cleaned up and like we said we did these little orbit circles over and over and over and if you look you end up with a real smooth edge both top and bottom penetrated real good into this base metal um, good toes top and bottom and it's hot so let's check out some other welds all right so the next joint we got is this outside corner that we're going to run this is eighth inch hot rolled and the first one we're going to use is that same technique that we did on that lap joint. So we're just going to go forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. And the reason that you want to use a technique like that, or the reason I like to, is so that you don't you can run that weld plenty hot so that you get really good penetration. But you got to back up because if you just drag that the whole way without any back and forth, you're probably going to burn through that joint. And then we're going to come to this other side and we're going to do that same technique using a push. So we're going to, instead of tilting towards, we're going to tilt away and we're going to go forward and back, forward and back. And uh, I really like that technique on these outside corners. It comes out with a nice uh, rounded edge. So let's have a look, see how it goes.
All right, so here we got that weld all cleaned up, wire wheeled off, and you'll see this is the first one where we used that drag technique where we had it orientated this way. And uh, you'll see really good penetration on these edges on both, both sides, really nice, nice and smooth weld. And this is the other one where we did the push technique, so we were pushing the weld this direction. Um, I actually think the push came out a lot nicer. You can see it's real smooth, very, very consistent on both sides. And uh, you'll find sometimes with a push technique, it might be even easier for you because you get a little bit better view because you can put your head in front of the weld as opposed to behind the weld. Sometimes that, some people prefer that. But what's nice about these is if you look, turn it over, you'll notice that we got full penetration all the way through that weld. We have a real nice, even, consistent melt through on this side. Sometimes uh, you can end up with a less than consistent burn through and you'll end up with globs. But uh, doing it this way with that technique, uh, you'll see that it gets a really nice, even melt through. All in all, that came out really nice. Okay, so now let's, uh, we got this fillet um, weld that we're gonna run on a T-joint. And I know this would never happen with any of you guys, but sometimes you'll end up with a really bad fit. So you can see we got at least an eighth inch gap in between here, which isn't the end of the world. Um, but one thing to mention is that the best way you can improve the strength of your welds is to have all your pieces fit nice and tight. But if you do end up with a situation where you have to weld with a gap like this, it can certainly be done. So uh, one good way to do that is to, to use a, a weave technique. And what we're going to do is that same one we used on the lap joint, we're going to do that orbit weave. And we're going to do that first in a drag. Um, so we're going to orbit those circles over and over in a drag technique. And then we're going to come to this other side and we'll run a uh, push technique doing those circles over and over. Uh, and you'll see that's a real good way to span that gap because if you didn't do something, you'd have that wire just consistently poking through the weld here, um, which would be kind of a pain and you'd have a poor quality weld. So let's have a look. All right, so here's that joint with the big gap after the first weld here. And uh, what we did, these overlapping circles in that drag technique. You know, notice every time you do one of those circles, you're gonna get a little bit of that scaled look, but this weld ended up being pretty nice. Good, good toe uh, melt right here at the bottom and on the top, all in all a good weld. So now we'll come back over here and we'll run that in a push technique and see how it looks. All right, so we got this one all wire wheeled and cleaned up, doing those circles over and over using that push technique. You'll see we ended up with a nice, smooth, consistent weld here. Good toes, top and bottom. Uh, but it's important to note that even though you can weld this joint and it looks really great, it's not gonna be nearly as strong as it would be if you had that fitting nice and tight. So before you get carried away thinking you can do anything uh, with some fancy weave technique, make your parts fit correctly. All right, so I hope you guys learned some new techniques that you can put to good use on your next welding project. For more information on welding and fabrication, check out some of the other videos we have at themetalschool.com. Thanks for watching.